I want to share with you my five favorite fiber contents for knitting shawls. So when people decide to knit a project, they often the biggest mistake they make is actually choosing a fiber that isn't appropriate for their project. The nice thing about knitting shawls is that the fibers can stretch. They don't have to have much fiber memory. And in fact, the more draped, the better with shawls. So some yarns that you wouldn't normally use for making something structured like a sweater or a hat, you can use and enjoy in a shawl. So I'm gonna start with silk. And this is silk here. Um, this is a lace weight silk. And uh, I believe this is close to a lace weight, that's a sport weight. Awesome. So these ones, the Tussa silk, the reason it's so rumply is that it's actually um, taken from the cocoon once the moth has eaten its way out. And so those two um, are two different types of silk, nice lace weight silk, great for doing um, lace shawls. Uh, the thing about silk is that once it's stretched, it has no fiber memory. So it's got beautiful drape. It's also very warm. It's one of the warmest fibers out there. So you can use a very light silk and get a nice warm shawl. My second favorite, fi favorite fiber for shawls, which is actually, or second to, se the, so four out of five, four out of five, which is my fourth favorite um, for shawls. And this is going to surprise a lot of people is mohair. So um, this is mohair right here. Um, and this is actually a mohair and silk blend. One I absolutely um, detest working with. So I hate working with mohair. And everybody who knows me knows this. If I'm in the store, if you're hanging out with me in the store, um, I don't think there's a simple, single time I've been in the store talking with people that the subject of mohair hasn't come up. And mostly it's because mohair is extremely popular right now. So people are coming through the store and they absolutely are searching for mohair and then I can't stop it <laughs> from happening. Um, I don't like garments like sweaters knit with mohair, but I understand why people like them. My thing about mohair is um, I don't like the scratchiness. I don't like when I have to frog something that it's so hard to do and often you just have to stop where you are and start again. So if you make a mistake, I wouldn't re recommend doing a shawl that's got a lot of lace work in mohair for that reason. But there's some of you that are really good um, and you can keep track of it and um, you don't mind pulling back the mohair. Um, however, and you must be wondering, why did I choose this number four out of five? I hate it so much. The fact is that mohair makes, and I wouldn't have said this except for about mm, a month ago, was my um, my nephling had a uh, a prom to go to and wanted a shawl. And I of course they wanted black mohair and I actually had to work with it. But the reason I'm telling you this is four to five is that it was extremely warm and extremely light. So this makes with very little yarn, you can use large needles, you can make a very simple shawl. It's very, very light, but really, really warm. And I think not only is it a great shawl, but it's a great travel shawl because you can just ram it into a bag and pull it out and use it almost like a blanket on an airplane. And there's just no weight to it. So even though I hate the process of working with mohair, the results are worth it to me. So this would be my fourth uh, choice. And um, I have these here because if I'm going to work with mohair, I find pairing it with, oops, I got the wrong ones, pairing it with um, these, these are, these are merino yarns here, merino and nylon sock yarns, pairing it with, um, uh, sock yarn and holding it double means it's easier to frog, um, or to tink back if you've made a mistake. In generally, I find, in general, I find it easier to work with. So I would recommend if you are going to do a shawl, I mean, yes, you can do those super light, but if you're frustrated with mohair, Combine it with another yarn and hold them two together, and that creates a beautiful effect and mitigates some of the frustration of working with mohair. So number three out of five would be super wash wool. Um, this is a, a sport weight. I like to work when I'm working for sh with shawls. I tend to go only up to a DK weight. Um, except every once in a while I get a really heavy thing for doing more of a cowl shawl. But um, I like a sport weight yarn 
for my shawls. Um, sock weight is what most people do or lace weight um, takes forever. Sport weight just seems to go a little faster. But I like the Superwash Merido because it's got a beautiful drape. And it's one of the projects, so when you're working with Superwash Merino, it doesn't have the fiber memory of um, a non-Superwash. So one that's got the barbs, that has the fiber memory. All the barbs have been washed out of a Superwash. So this one is going to stretch more and not jump back. And that's what fiber memory it is. It wants to jump back into its shape after it's been stretched. This one doesn't want to do it as much. You have a beautiful drape. It's better than working on a um, fitted project with it because there is a bit of stretch that happens, but with the shawl, you kind of want that. So it's got super softness and you can throw it in a washing machine. I don't recommend um, putting it in a dryer um, or even if you're doing a washing machine, some of them have a hand wash setting. I'd recommend doing that. I still hand wash my shawls just because they're so delicate, especially if they've done lace work in them, um, but you can technically throw these into a washing machine um, and if you're giving it to someone that you don't know how they'll care for your shawl that's the way to go that's the way to go okay so this is um, yak merino yak yarn and um, this is an alpaca boucle now this is not my favorite um, I don't like boucles for the same reason I don't like merino uh, because I don't like the way it grabs at my yarn. I find it, if, especially if you're a beginner knitter, boucles can be confusing because they have these little loops on them that um, look like another um, stitch, sort of. However, now here's the, this is the only alpaca, 100% alpaca that was in the store. That's why I grabbed this one. Um, the reason I love alpaca for shawls is it's seven times warmer than wool. So it's very warm and it's very light compared to some of the wools that I've had out here. It's almost like uh, the mohair. So this one is done in a mohair style where it's got these tufts. Um, I also have over here, this one here is also alpaca. Um, and so you get that same mohair thing, but it's not quite as scratchy as mohair. I love alpaca because of the drape and the warmth. So my favorite shawl is actually, and this is yak. And the other one, so these are all camelids. I think that's how you say it. Um, the other one I like is llama. So I have my favorite shawl is a de-haired llama that I got from um, Americo Yarns. Um, they don't exist anymore, so you can't find their yarn anymore. But it's fabulous. It's grown to be twice the size it was when I knit it, and it wraps around me, and it's my travel blanket. It's my absolute favorite. It's nice and warm, um, but it's not heavy. So alpaca would be my um, second my second most favorite yarn for making shawls. My absolute total favorite um, is a silk and superwash blend. So this is superwash merino and silk. And, and it's actually, uh, I knit, this shawl here is knit with it. Um, it is super soft. This is sport weight, it's super soft. Um, the silk adds to the durability. So this superwash yarn here is great, but it's it's going to pill. Um, it's not as strong as um, the silk. So you add the superwash merino, you put the silk in there, and you've got a shawl that's going to last you a lifetime. I ca I wish I could. I had like feel o vision because you can see I'm like petting this thing because this is the softest thing I've ever done like ever had in my hands it's really super soft um, this is um, machine washable um, but again I would hand wash mine but this one is my favorite shawl yarn so those are my top five silk mohair super wash merino any of the camelids so llama alpaca yak muskox which is kivyut and um, a superwash or merino and silk blend there's my top five um, let me know what your favorites are uh, if you agree or disagree with me thanks very much i'll talk to you soon